Hey YouTube, Chuck's back. Bought some uh, new uh, IoT stuff, which I haven't played with IoT stuff for a while. This stuff, I was walking through Kmart in Australia and I found these Mirabelle Genos. Now I'm having a guess that these are probably um, some sort of ripoff of Sonoffs. Now this one here is about $15. It's got a code on the back for your QR code so you can run it for your application, which will set up in a little while. Let's get another camera for that one. And this one on the other one has a QR, QR code as well. This one comes with one little extra thing other than just a, a plug-in pack that will probably turn on a relay. This one has a USB connector, which I have never seen before. Now, I'm not sure why they've put a USB connector on here. I uh, haven't had a quick read yet. Um, we'll have a quick look. So I just got this out of the box. Still haven't found the, about the USB, but I'm looking at the build quality of this thing. It shits all over Sonoff. It's $29, or oh, you might as well say almost $30 Australian. Uh, USB input, yes, it has one, and the USB output is a 1.5 amp. Now, this is Wi Fi, so when we press that, it should come up to Wi Fi. Yeah, not sure whether this turns on and off there. Of course, it's made in China. And it has a batch number. I'm having a guess that these guys have made these through Sonoff, but I don't know. I could unscrew these and have a quick look and see what's inside. Do you want to have a look inside? I want to have a look inside. Let's do it. We look at this uh, device. If you've noticed at the bottom here, there's a board sitting there. Now, I have taken a photo of it. I'm sorry about the lighting. There is a 8266 ESP and its memory connected on that board there. The front board is for the power for the USB. And for some unknown reason, there's two relays. So I'd say one of the relays goes to the USB device and the other relay goes to the power. So very interesting. Um, on the back, I've got a couple of shots. There's a better shot of the ESP. And that's not the shot I want. Okay, we'll go back this way. Here we go. So there's a switch there that controls the um, device. To set it into learn mode i think that would be it and over here we've got some if i could turn this light off which i can't because of my device i'll turn it down like that then i've not got the light you've got some select lines you've got a 3.3 volt line you've got a earth over here there should be enough there to program it um, there's no actual program header on it I'd say they do it in the factory, and I'm not a really great fan of this area here. It's not very well soldered. There is other spots like over here that have dry joints that I've noticed straight away on this board, but for what it's costing, it's not too bad. Um, and I would expect that the other device that I've got here would be similar to the Sonoffs as well, and you could probably pull that apart, and it's probably an ESP A266. And that's it, and we'll keep going. Now I'm hoping to put the photos up on the Tasmata board, and see who jumps at it first to see if they can hack it. Anyway, I'm gonna now get my wife to pair this and see how it goes. So this, this USB must have a relay and it must be controlled by the unit itself. Okay.